Lawyers in a federal class action lawsuit against the Department of Transportation and the MTA are interested in hearing your story. The Disability Law Center filed the action in January on behalf of writers. 11 News reporter Lisa Robinson joins us in West Baltimore with more on what that lawsuit alleges. Lisa. Well, the law center says it's not looking for damages. What it simply wants is the MTA to fix the service. It's hard to schedule your life. It's hard to make sure you're going to get to work on time, get to doctor's appointments on time. Um, a lot of times you have to cancel things because you're just not going to get there. Danielle Phelps is so frustrated with the MTA's mobility paratransit service, she joined three others in bringing a federal class action lawsuit against the agency. By law, mobility is supposed to be an equivalent service to the fixed route system. Disability Law Center attorney Kate Anderson says that's not happening. What we have found is that people are having access issues either because they are being denied eligibility inappropriately or because they can't actually get through to mobility on the phone to book a ride or check on their late ride. The lawsuit notes 12 calls Phelps made inquiring about her ride. Her total hold time for those calls? Five hours. Hold time, calling to schedule a ride, 15, 20 minutes, rides being late, and um, or just saying they're not going to show up for a couple hours. The lawsuit also alleges the inappropriate denial of eligibility. For instance, people get told that they are being denied service because of either some usage of the fixed route service and or lack of usage of mobility. That's what happened to Philip Freeman after using paratransit for three years. He was denied for that very reason when he went for recertification. He uses the fixed route system when he feels well, but as a dialysis patient, that's not often. Because I'm not, I'm not only not feeling well, my um, whole system is, is off. Equilibrium, everything a lot of times. So no, it wouldn't be safe for me to be out there. Now, Mr. Freeman has since been recertified. The uh, Disability Law Center says if you've had similar experiences with mobility, they want to hear from you. In terms of the MTA, they wouldn't comment on the lawsuit, but they do say that they have made some improvements last year in the system, like they have updated their phone system, they have made the reservation clerks who are part time, full time, and they've added a vendor. Reporting live, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.